University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. Two more teams are about to discover whether answering general knowledge questions in the relative anonymity of a student union rehearsal room is the same as doing so in front of the judgmental gaze of millions of taxpayers. <laughs> There's a place in the second round for whichever team holds its nerve. The University of Strathclyde received its royal charter in 1964, but dates back to the late 18th century and the bequest of John Anderson, a professor at Glasgow University, for the foundation of an institution that would focus on what he deemed to be practical subjects and useful learning. Alumni include the pioneer of fingerprinting, Henry Folds, the chemist Thomas Graham, James Young and Andrew Ewer studied or taught there, the latter noted for attempting to demonstrate that electricity could reanimate a corpse at around the same time that Mary Shelley was writing Frankenstein. Useful learning indeed. More recently, Lauren Mabry of the band Churches went there, representing around 21,000 students and with an average age of 22, Let's meet the Strathclyde team. Hi, I'm Billy. I'm from Paisley in Renfrewshire, and I'm studying politics. Hi, I'm Thomas. I'm from Stirling in central Scotland, and I study mechanical engineering. And this is their captain. Hi, I'm Jack. I'm from Gourock in Inverclyde, and I'm studying aeromechanical engineering. Hi, I'm Catherine. I'm from Berkshire, and I'm studying for a PhD in optical medical imaging. Now, the University of Durham received its royal charter in 1837 after both Henry VIII and Oliver Cromwell had tried and failed to establish a university there. It operates a collegiate system to provide accommodation and pastoral care, but as there's no formal teaching within each college, the university enters this competition as a single entity. Alumni include the conductor, Sir Malcolm Sargent, the newspaper editor, Sir Harold Evans, and the Church of England's first consecrated female bishop, Libby Lane, and the current Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, went there. The university has won this competition twice in 1977 and 2000, so with an average age of 20, representing around 18,000 students. Let's meet the team. Hi, I'm Sean. I'm from the Wirral, and I'm studying English. Hi, I'm Cameron. I'm from North West London, and I'm studying English. And their captain... Hello, I'm Matthew. I'm from South Derbyshire and I'm studying maths. Hi, I'm Ben from David and Cheshire and I'm studying for a PhD in chemistry. The rules are unchanging on this competition. As you know, starter questions are solo efforts and bonuses are team efforts. Fingers on the buzzers, here's your first starter for ten. What precise weather phenomenon links the German realist author of Immensi a 1971 track by The Doors and the novel by George R. R. Durham Murray. Storm. Storm is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on the novels of Daniel Defoe. Which novel by Daniel Defoe narrates the life of continued variety of a woman who, according to its full title, was 12 years a whore, five times a wife, 12 years a thief and eight years a transported felon in Virginia? That's Moll Flanders. It is. Which of Defoe's novels is a fictional reconstruction of the events of 1665? Is it like a year? Yeah, 1660 year in the plague. Or 1665. A year in the plague. A year in the plague. A year in the plague. That's not precise enough. The precise title was A Journal of the Plague Year. And finally, in three separate works, Defoe wrote of the life and strange and surprising adventures, the further adventures, and the serious reflections of which character? Robinson Crusoe. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. In the standard model of particle physics, what five-letter word precedes boson to denote any force-carrying ah. particle? Durham Murray. Gage. Gage is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on cricket broadcasters. In each case, name the former player from the description. Firstly, a regular cricket analyst on Radio 5 Live which former England captain and wicketkeeper became the most capped English Test cricketer in 2002? Uh, nominate Yule. Uh, Alex Stewart. Correct. Having played three Tests for England in the 1980s, which Leicestershire seam bowler later joined the Test match special team and in 2017 marked 26 years as a BBC cricket correspondent? Nominate Yule. Uh, Jonathan Agnew. 
Agus is right. Who played club cricket for Ackworth, Barnsley and Leeds before making his Test debut in 1964? He's one of Test Match Special's more outspoken summarisers. Yeah, Geoffrey Boycott. It was Geoffrey Boycott, yes. <laughs> right, ten points for this. The landmarks of which city include the 16th century mosque of Suleiman, the 17th century blue mosque with six ah. minarets... Durham Yule. Istanbul. Istanbul is correct. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on atmospheric and space physics. What five-letter word remains when one removes turbo, tropo or strato from terms that specifically indicate a boundary between the main layers in the Earth's atmosphere? Pause. Correct. Roughly 100 kilometres in altitude, at which boundary are some of the Earth's lowest natural temperatures recorded, down to about minus 160 Celsius? Exopause? No, it's the mesopause. What term denotes the boundary around the sun between the solar wind and the interstellar medium? It lies about 123 astronomical units from the sun. Um, nominate Murray. Heliopause. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Which founder of dot everyone dot all dot UK became the youngest woman in the House of Lords when, aged 40, she became a crossbench peer in 2013? Strathclyde Pollock. Um, Michelle Moon. Now, I'm afraid you lose five points. A crossbench peer in 2013, having long since sold her travel website, lastminute.com. That was Martha Lane Fox. Ten points for this. Born in the Russian Empire in 1857, which research scientist designed the first wind tunnel in Russia, proposed the use of multi-stage and liquid propellant rockets, and in 1903 published the rocket equation that bears his... Strathclyde Pollock. Solikovsky. Correct. <laughs> now, your bonuses are on responses to postmodernism according to the philosophy webcomic Existential Comics. <laughs> Firstly, for five points, to defeat the postmodern peril, five historical philosophers combine their powers to create a superhero called Captain Metaphysics. Epicurus contributes atoms and Barclay ideas, which ancient Greek philosopher contributes forms? Plato. Like Plato. Plato is correct. And which philosopher contributes monads? He was born in Leipzig in 1646. Um, um, what was that? Kant. No, it's Leibniz. Finally, born in Königsberg in 1724, which philosopher... Contributes Numena. Um, that might be Kant. Kant. That is Kant, yes. <laughs> right, we're going to take a picture around. For your picture starter, you'll see a sequence of flags representing the opponents faced by the winning team in a particular year at the FIFA Men's World Cup. For ten points, name both the winning team and the year. Strathclyde Callum. It's been 2010. Correct. Your picture bonuses similarly represent the paths of glory, followed by three more FIFA Men's World Cup winners. In each case, I need the name of the winning nation and the year in which they won. All flags appear as they would have done in the year in question. Firstly... Mm. Yeah, that's West Germany, 1990. West Germany, 1990. Uh, nominate Hogg. Uh, West Germany, 1990. That's correct. Secondly... I think it's Argentina. Uh, mm, I think it's Argentina. Argentina 78. Argentina 78. Argentina 78. Correct. And finally. Uh, Uruguay 1930. Uruguay 1930. Correct. <laughs> a lot of football. Right, I need the name of a city for this starter question, please. Philida Barlow in 2017, Sarah Lucas in 2015 and Jeremy Della in 2013 are among the most recent artists chosen to exhibit in the British Pavilion at which European Festival of Modern Art, founded in 1895? Uh, Durham Round. Venice Biennial. Correct. 
Your bonuses now are on a decade in feminism. In her 1975 essay, Visual Pleasure and Narrative Cinema, Laura Mulvey coined what two-word term to describe the phenomenon in which women's bodies are presented on screen for the pleasure of a spectator who's assumed to be a man? Male gaze. Correct. Which British psychoanalyst wrote the 1978 work Fat is a Feminist Issue, a critique of the diet industry and social attitudes towards women's weight? Uh, nominate you. Uh, Julie Bindle. No, it was Susie Orbach. 1972 saw the first issue of Ms. Magazine with which fictional character on its front cover? Created for DC Comics in 1941, she's been played on screen by Linda Carter and more recently by Gal Gadot. Um, Wonder Woman. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. An N-type semiconductor dopant that smells of garlic when oxidised, which nitrogen group element gets its name from the Persian word for orpiment, a yellow pigment? Durham Toynbee. Arsenic. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on pharmacology, first isolated from bat saliva and given the name Draculin, Desmotiplase, belongs to what general type of drug classified by their effect? Anticoagulant. Correct. What vitamin participates in the synthesis of the coagulation factors denoted by the Roman numerals 9 and 10? I need a single letter. Um, I, think, I think it's K, isn't it? Uh, K? K is right. Used as an anticoagulant, what synthesized form of hydroxycoumarin reduces vitamin K activity? It's named after a research institution serving the University of Wisconsin. Uh, we don't know, sorry. It's warfarin. Ten points for this. Give two words differing only in their initial letter but not rhyming. The first introduces an alternative and the second means to hesitate, waver, vacillate or act ah. indecisive. Durham Murray. Either and dither. Either and dither are the correct answers. And your bonuses are on Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings. In each case, name the character from the manner of their death. Firstly, in the first chapter of The Two Towers, which member of the Fellowship of the Ring is killed by arrows shot by orcs at Ammon Hen? Uh, nominate Murray. Boromir. Correct. In an eponymous chapter of The Return of the King, which ruler casts himself on a pyre while the forces of Sauron attempt to storm his city? Uh, nominate Murray again. Denethor. Correct. In the chapter entitled The Scouring of the Shire, whom does Grima Wormtongue stab to death? Wormtongue is then killed by Hobbit archers. Saruman. Uh, Saruman. Uh, nominate Murray again. Saruman. Saruman is correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Life is short and truth works far and lives long. Let us speak the truth. Those are the words of which German philosopher born in 1788? His works include The Art of Being Right and The World as Will and Idea. Durham Murray. Schopenhauer. Schopenhauer is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on the domestic in 20th century art, Durham. Richard Hamilton's 1956 collage, Just What Is It That Makes Today's Home So Different, So Appealing, is often regarded as a catalyst for which art movement he defined it the following year as witty, sexy, gimmicky, big business. Um, pop art. Correct. Which French-American artist produced a series of paintings in the 1940s called Femme Maison, literally meaning housewife? In these, the heads and torsos of female nude figures are replaced by domestic buildings. American, French, who could that be? Any French artists? Yeah, like, seen them. <laughs> um, is it, can you think of anything that's... Um, no, he's Belgian, but oh, uh, just, no. pass. Sorry. It's Louise Bourgeois. <laughs> and finally, which British artist won the Turner Prize in 1993 following her project Untitled House, yeah, a right, solid yeah. concrete yeah. cast no, of the interior White. space of a Victorian Rachel terraced White. house? Yeah, Rachel Whiteread. Correct. <laughs> We're going to get your music down. Your music star you hear a well-known excerpt from an opera. For ten points, please name its composer.
Durham Toynbee. Is that Offenbach? It is Offenbach. It's the infernal gallop from Orpheus in the Underworld. <laughs> so that was intended partly as a satire of Gluck's Orpheo et Eurydice, and for your music bonuses, you're going to hear three more examples of operatic satire or parody. Name the composer of each. First, the composer of this opera, which pokes fun at the arias of opera seria. Mozart? It is Mozart. That's part of Cosi Fantuti. Secondly, the composer of this opera, which was a dig at the contemporary popularity of Verismo. No, it's Prokofiev. That's from The Love of Three Oranges. And finally, the composer of this work, which is both a social satire and a lampooning of operatic conventions. Und der Haifisch, der hat Zähne. Kurt Weil. Kurt Weil from The Threatening Opera, yes. Right, ten points for this. Appearing consecutively in some dictionaries. Which two words mean... A mineral harder than orthoclase on the Mohs scale and a star-like object associated with... Durham Toynbee. Quartz and quasar. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on named experiments in physics. Firstly, named after two physicists, which interferometric experiment of 1887 undermined the theory of the luminiferous ether? Uh, the Michelson Morley experiment? Correct. Born in 1773, which English physicist, physician, and Egyptologist demonstrated in his double slit experiment that light has a uh, wave like nature? Young. Young is correct. What experiment did Robert Millikan and Harvey Fletcher perform in 1909, thereby showing that electric charge is quantized? Um, the oil drop experiment. Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> the principal figures of which 20th century novel may be described respectively as. Hilda's sister and Sir Clifford's wife, and ah. Bertha... Durham Yule! Uh, Lady Chatterley's lover. Correct. <laughs> These bonuses, Durham, now are on medicine. In each case, give the term from the description. All three begin with the same three letters. First, a term derived ultimately from the Greek and applied to the region of the buttocks and structures within. For example, muscles and arteries. Um, gluteal. Correct. Secondly, a hormone secreted by the alpha cells of the islets of Langerhans in the pancreas. It helps to regulate blood sugar levels. Insulin. No, it's glucagon. Insulin is secreted Sorry. by the beta cells and doesn't begin with GLU. <laughs> Finally, a two-word common name for secretory otitis. Um, glu... Uh, Any ideas? No. But no, sorry, I don't know. It's sorry. Glue ear. Ten points for this. Under which Chinese dynasty did Tsai Lun serve as court official? Traditionally credited with the invention of paper, he died in the capital, Luoyang. <laughs> in... Strathclyde Ember. Song? No, anyone like to buzz from Durham? You can hear a little more. I'm afraid you're going to lose five points for that. He died in the capital, Luoyang, in 121, the year that saw the birth of the Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius. Durham Murray. Tang. No, no, it's Han, particularly Eastern Han. Right, ten points for this starter question, then. Answer as soon as your name is called. To the nearest whole number, what is the volume of a sphere inscribed within a cube of volume eight? Strathclyde Ember. Six. Anyone like to buzz from Durham? <laughs> You've all given up. <laughs> it's four. Ten points for this. Which future king was in nominal command of the English fleet at the Battle of Lowestoft, a victory over the Dutch? 
25 years later, he was defeated by a Dutch commander at the Battle of the Boyne. Durham Yule. James II. Correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on Margaret Thatcher this time, Durham. Published in 1989, One of Us was a biography of Margaret Thatcher by which prominent journalist who died in 2003? Um, it's Hugo... Um, nominate. nominate you. Hugo Young. Correct. Which Welsh politician wrote the psychobiography Margaret, daughter of Beatrice? His brother Danny was a poet whose collections include Speak Old Parrot and Funland. Danny Absol, I think. But I don't know the, I don't know the guy's name, but Absi would be the surname. Absi? Yeah. Absi? Yeah. Yes, do you know his first name? <laughs> no, <laughs> we don't, sorry. Never mind, I'll accept that. It's Leo Absi, yes, his brother was Danny. And finally, in 2013, which former editor of the Daily Telegraph began publishing volumes of an authorised biography of Margaret Thatcher? Uh, nominate Yule. Uh, Charles Moore. Charles Moore is correct. We're going to take another picture there. <laughs> for your picture starts, you'll see a painting. Ten points if you can name the artist, please. Durham Yule. Cezanne. It is Cezanne's The Bather. That was one of the works on show in the inaugural exhibition of the Museum of Modern Art in New York. Your picture bonuses are three more paintings that featured in that exhibition. Name the artist in each case. Firstly... That's Gauguin. Yeah. Um, Gauguin. It is Gauguin, yes. Secondly... Seurat. Um, Seurat. Seurat is correct. And finally... Van Gogh. Van Gogh. It was Van Gogh's Yellow House. Right, ten points for this. Which decade saw Karl Jansky's discovery of radio waves from the Milky Way, Fritz Vicky's discovery of dark matter, and Clyde Tombaugh's discovery of Pluto? Uh, Durham Murray. 1930s. The 1930s is correct. <laughs> Durham, these bonuses are on statues dating to the 8th century, the Daibutsu of Nara, is a 16-metre bronze statue of which religious figure? Sounds like... Is it Buddha? Yeah, is it Buddha? Um, the Buddha? Correct. With seven-metre-long earlobes and eight-metre-long toes, the 8th-century Grand Buddha is carved into a hillside at Lur Shan, south of Chengdu, in which Chinese province? Um, is it Chengdu? Um, Sensation? Is it one of the other ideas? <sighs> Um, Sichuan? Sichuan is correct. Stretching out for 46 metres and covered in gold leaf, the reclining Buddha of Wat Po lies in the Pranakon district of which country? Cambodia. Um, Cambodia? No, it's Thailand. There are four minutes to go and here's a starter question. In terms of population, what state is to Australia as North Rhine-Westphalia is to Germany? and California to the United States. Strathclyde Hawk. In New South Wales. Correct, most populous, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses, Strathclyde, are on scientific terms. In each case, give the term from the description. All three answers <coughs> begin with the same two letters. First, the emission of light by a substance that has absorbed light or other electromagnetic radiation. So it's not... Phosphorescence? 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 No, it's fluorescence. Secondly, a substance that continually deforms under an applied shear stress. Fluid. Correct. And finally, the halogen element with the lowest atomic number. Fluorine. Fluorine is correct. Ten points for this. Natteras, Dorbentons and Soprano Pipistrelle are among the resident British breeding species of which ah. mammal? Durham Toynbee. Bat. Bat is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on fish whose common names refer to other animals. Firstly, after a carnivorous mammal, what is the common name of fish of the genus Terois? They bear distinctive venomous fin spines. Um, lionfish. Correct. What is the common name of Danio rerio, a small fish of the minnow family widely used in genetic research? Zebrafish. Uh, zebrafish. Correct. After a general type of bird, what is the common name of the Scaridae? They are colourful tropical fish with distinctive beak-like dentition. Um, parrotfish. Parrotfish is correct. 
Ten points for this. The 1948 film Drunken Angel starred Toshiro Mifune as a volatile criminal in the first of the actor's 16 collaborations with which film director? Darmul. Uh, Akira Kurosawa. Correct. So you get a set of bonuses now on fictional dogs, Durham. <laughs> a hunting dog called Argos, or Argus, belongs to which hero of classical literature? He dies having recognised his master after more than 20 years' absence. Odysseus. Um, Odysseus. Correct. A Scottish terrier called Buster is the companion of the five find-outers, a gang of child detectives in stories produced by which author from 1943? Enid Blyton. Enid Blyton. Correct. A black poodle named Wellington is found killed at the beginning of which novel of 2003? Uh, yeah, The Curious Innocent. Curious, like the, um, the Curious Innocent. The Curious Innocent. The Dog in the Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. The current incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Which SI base unit is equal to the amount of substance that contains as many ah. elementary units... Durham Murray. Mole. Mole is correct. These bonuses are on a shared surname. Which novel of 1915 by Ford Maddox Ford is a story of deception and betrayal involving two couples, the Dowells and the Ashburnhams? The uh, yeah, The Good Soldier. Uh, the, the, the Good, good soldier. soldier. Um, the Good Soldier. Correct. The oh, jealous yeah. Frank Ford attempts to catch his wife in an act of infidelity in which of Shakespeare's plays? Um, I think it is, yeah. Um, the Merry Wives of Windsor. Correct. The fashion designer and film director Tom Ford wrote and directed which 2009 oh. film adapted from a novel of 1964 of the same title by Christopher Isherwood? Um, oh, they can't, they can't play. It's, oh. it's quite good as well, apparently. <laughs> um, Come on. Uh, no, Pass. we don't know, sorry. It's a single man. Ten points for this. Hawaiian missionaries Inverted Jenny and Abraham Lincoln, 1867, are among rare examples of what collectible items? Uh, Durham Yule. Stamps. Stamp postage stamps is correct, yes. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on Independence Days. From which European country did Angola gain independence in November 1975? <laughs> that was gone. had 55. The University of Durham had 360. There was not much I can say by way of consolation, Strathclyde, except you were up against a very strong team. Durham, you were on great form. 360 is the highest score we've seen on this show for a while. So congratulations to you. We shall look forward to seeing you in the second round of the contest. Thank you for joining us. I hope you can join us next time for another first-round match. But until then, it's goodbye from Strathclyde University. Goodbye. Goodbye. It's goodbye from Durham University. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>